Naruto, 10 Things You Didn't Know Happened to Hinata After the Series Ended From having kids to dealing with the fact her husband was Hokage, Hinata's plate has been full since the series ended and Boruto took over. By the end of Naruto Shippuden, Hinata had achieved her dream of not only gaining Naruto's attention but becoming his wife in what was one of the more touching moments in the series. It's great that they decided to animate Kanoha Haydn just for the moment of them holding each other's hands as they prepared to marry. That wasn't the end of the craziness that was Hinata's life. From having kids to dealing with the fact her husband was Hokage, Hinata's plate has been full since the series ended and Boruto took over. 10. Hinata lets her son become his own man. Unsurprisingly, Hinata is a bit protective as a parent, going out of her way to make sure her children aren't in danger. That slowly starts to change in Boruto when she starts to see the similarities between her son and her husband. Understanding that she can't try to hold back her child's ambitions. It can be a big moment for a parent to let their kid spread their wings and fly on their own. Hinata deserves kudos for knowing when it was time. 9. She destroys a Tensigen. The Tensigen was an evolved form of the Byakugan, which allowed the user the ability to control the moon, as well as many other abilities. It's a powerful dojitsu that rivals any other in the series. That's why it takes the combined might of Naruto and Hinata together to defeat Tonari in his Tensigen, using what was called the Gentle Step Spiraling Twin Lion Fists to destroy it. Besides being a long name, it's the combination of a gigantic lion, fisted head and a raisin gan. 8. She had her first date at Ramen Ichiraku. Where else would it be? Ramen seemed to be the only thing Naruto ever ate, and Ramen Ichiraku being his preferred spot to get it at. The fact it's one of the least romantic places you could imagine didn't matter to either of them as they got to spend time together, for what little of it they were capable. As they soon rushed off to save Sakura after learning that she'd been captured by Kido Tsumiki. A man completely obsessed with making money by any means necessary. 7. Giving birth to two children two years apart. Boruto was the first of two kids coming into this world shortly after Naruto and Hinata's marriage, showing how quick the pair were to get intimate now that they were a forever couple. Himawari came two years later, aged no more than three by the time Naruto became the Hokage. Both of them got a mix of traits from each of their parents, Boruto resembling Naruto more and Himawari being more like Hinata is. Capturing much of her caring and sweet nature. 6. Adopting a third child. While it wasn't a formal adoption, that's practically what Hinata and Naruto did when they took in Kawaki, a boy who was being groomed to be the next vessel of Ishiki Atsutsuki. A being on par with Kagaya as far as power levels went. It shows what a caring person Hinata is, that she'd be willing to not only treat him as if he were her child but do it despite how filled with anger he was. She never judged him and only wanted to help him. It will be interesting to see what happens once Kawaki's inevitable betrayal happens. 5. Fought multiple Atsutsuki. Tonori isn't the only member of the Atsutsuki clan that Hinata has gone up against. She attempted to retrieve Naruto when he'd been kidnapped by Mamashiki and Kinshiki as well. As expected, with how powerful both were, she wasn't met with very good results. She was easily overpowered and left badly injured, forcing Sakura to heal her afterward. Even with the loss. It shows the level of progress she's made to even think about challenging them. Old Hinata would have been too scared. 4. Forced out of her shell. When Hinata is thought of, it's usually something more akin to the above, so overcome with a shyness that she struggles to function. After the war. Much of that shyness is gone, Hinata forced out of it for a few reasons, but chief among them being that she was essentially a single parent since Naruto was always busy as Hokage. 
This led to her growing more of a backbone and showing a willingness to speak up and discipline her children when necessary. 3. Defeated Hanabi in a Duel The whole scene was meant to show how far Hinata has come, and it did so effectively. Hinata of the past had been too afraid to hurt Hanabi, unwilling to exert any effort into their duel. Leading to Hanabi becoming the inheritor of the clan. Eventually, they do battle again, and Hinata still shows some restraint but she's willing to fight back this time and easily overpowers her younger sister. Proving that she's the true princess of the Hyuga clan. 2. Mastered the Gentle Fist When you consider how meek and against fighting she used to be, it's amazing to see where she's at now. There isn't a living Hyuga who has the mastery of the gentle fist that she does. And it'd be a challenge to find one in the past who did either. When you factor in the chakra she has from Hamura, she's on a level few could achieve. She even can knock out a target with a single strike to their Tenketsu now. Making her dangerous for any- 1. Taking issue with Kakashi In Kakashi Haiden, Naruto began spreading rumors about Kakashi's relations with Kahayo, a woman who'd put Kanoha and its citizens in grave danger. It wasn't meant to be malicious. But it aggravated Kakashi enough that he hit Naruto, something that didn't sit well with Hinata. The faux anger many of Naruto's friends had towards Kahayo turned to real annoyance for Hinata. Given their relationship, it's not all that surprising she took a stance in favor of her man. <laughs>